Now, the Indo-U.S. civilian nuclear deal, when it was uh, inked, was billed as the cornerstone of the burgeoning strategic partnership. But five years later, things have not really gone according to script. There's frustration on the U.S. side. To get a sense of what's happening and uh, will there be the first commercial nuclear agreement between India and U.S. when Prime Minister Manmohan Singh visits Washington next month, NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla spoke exclusively to Richard Stratford, the director of nuclear energy, safety and security at the U.S. State Department. I'm inside the White House complex. Very soon, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh will be here. And on his agenda, on the talks with President Barack Obama, would be the Indo-US civilian nuclear deal. I have with me Richard Stratford, who played a key role in negotiating the Indo-US civilian nuclear deal. Five years down the line, not a single dollar of trade has happened between the two countries. Richard Stratford, are you frustrated that nothing has happened on the Indo-US civilian nuclear deal five years down the line? No, I'm not frustrated, but there are a lot of complexities that I think need to be handled. The most important, I think, is the liability issue for our companies. And it's a concern not just for us, because I understand that the French and the Russians have similar concerns. Um, it is unfortunate that we haven't gotten further in terms of the trade relationship, but we are dedicated to helping our industries uh, make the appropriate sales, which I think can be made at some point in the future. I know that one of our companies is involved in discussions on what's called early works or pre-early works, and quite frankly, we'd like to see that happen quite soon. Do you think the fruits of the nuclear deal will be tasted sometime in September 2013? I don't know the answer to that, but remember, the fruits of the nuclear deal go well beyond the trade relationship. I mean, when we started down this road, we wanted to cement a relationship with the government of India. India has said for years and years, if you want that kind of a relationship, cooperation in the civilian nuclear area is part of the price. Well, we now have a burgeoning relationship. I think the military ties are getting stronger. I think the strategic ties are getting stronger. And I think we have a much closer relationship at high levels in the foreign ministries and in the, uh, the energy ministries.